Sisters. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. I'm back at Water Tower Cinema. It is time for Mortal Kombat. It is, of course, also playing on HBO Max. We're going to see this thing on the big screen because that is where someone lost a mask. That is where you should see movies. Uh, if you can, if you have the option. At least that's what I believe. See it the way the filmmaker intended. Well, we are going to go in. Let me put my mask on and let's go in and see this movie. What's that green spot? I'm getting a green spot on my shirt. See that? Look at that. Yeah, weird reflection. All right, let's do this. Last time I was here... I wasn't seeing a movie. I just stopped by and there was a goose in this bush hissing at me, protecting his egg. And there's the egg. It looks like the goose has abandoned its egg. Well, maybe I'll come back. But yeah, I was just using this trash can and the goose was really hissing at me. But now the goose is gone and the egg's still there. Holy nobody, Raya. Street Gang is not playing. I wanted to see Street Gang in the movies, but it's not playing. There's the poster. April 23rd. That's today. There it is. We're going to Theater 10. Okay. Thank you. That's our show, 6.30. It has been almost a week, almost a week since I shot the first half of this video and went to see Mortal Kombat. Usually I give you my thoughts within a day or two. Frankly, I think I've been avoiding <laughs> talking about this movie. I've just had such little desire to talk about Mortal Kombat. In part because... I don't know what I have to say about it. Uh, bottom line, I didn't like the movie. I, I did not like the movie. I know a lot of people are enjoying it. Like, my, I think my friend uh, Greg from Greg's Game Room gave it a pretty positive review. I've heard some other people give it a, a, a good review. So if you liked it, that's great. I'm glad you had a good time with it. I also know a lot of my friends really enjoyed the 1995 uh, Mortal Kombat movie which I saw in the theater back in 95. Never did see Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I don't really know anyone who liked that. Maybe you liked it. I don't know. My personal friends uh, at that time in 1995, 1997, my group of friends who enjoyed the original Mortal Kombat movie, none of them liked the sequel. I didn't like the original. <laughs> I didn't like the original 1995 movie. So I didn't have much of a desire to see the sequel. But even the people I know who liked the original walked out of the sequel saying that we didn't like this one. So my history with Mortal Kombat movies is not, you know, I'm not really, I wasn't a fan of the originals and I wasn't a fan of this one either. 
You might be like, well, Crazy Joe, why'd you go see it? If you're not a fan, why'd you go see it? Well, you know, because this is not the original. This is this is a new movie. And um, I wanted to see what they were going to do with it. The trailer looked good. You know, I wanted to see if they did something, you know, decent with it. They could have. It's not the same movie. And I felt that it had the same fundamental flaws the original did. Mortal Kombat is a fighting video game. This guy fights this guy. You know, you know, fight, finish him. You know, you know the drill. It's a lot of fun. When you're playing it against another person or against the computer, I'm not very good. So if you put me up against the computer, I'm going to lose. If you put me up against someone else who's also not very good, I stand a fighting chance. But yeah, Mortal Kombat's a fun game to play uh i'm gonna beat you up you're gonna beat me up you know that's that's a good time but there's not really a story there there's not a story it's really just this guy fights this guy so obviously they need to structure some kind of story around this and and i know this is this is in the video game too but look the video game they weren't trying to tell a compelling story. They were trying to find a reason why this guy is going to fight this guy. That's really all it is. So there's this backstory about a tournament and this outer realm and the earth realm. And they have to have this tournament and whoever loses the tournament, you know. It is paper thin. <laughs> paper thin story. And... It's really just an excuse to get this guy to fight this guy. You know, that's all it is. So I didn't find the story at all engaging the first time around in 1995. And I didn't find it engaging this time. Uh, I felt like I just, was just really watching a collection of fights. And that's all well and good. But without a story to tie it together, without a compelling story to tie it together, it's kind of boring. And that is the ultimate sin of this new Mortal Kombat movie. I was bored. I was very bored. I can't tell you how many times I checked my watch during this movie. Because I just wanted it to be over. I kept checking because I was so bored. Uh, now that was my experience. It was not the experience of some other people I know. Some other people I know just went with it and they had a good time. And I, uh, I admire that. I, I wish... I felt the same. I would have liked to have felt the same. Uh, obviously, I went to see the movie. I, I took time out, went to the theater, saw the movie. And I didn't have to do that. I, I could have just not watched it at all. Or I could have watched it on HBO. But I wanted to see it, and I wanted to see it on the big screen. So I had opened myself up to the possibility uh, that this was going to be a much better film than the original and I was just as unengaged as I was sitting in the theater in 1995. So, I guess my bottom line is, Mortal Kombat, I can't call it a bad movie. I can't call it a bad movie because if you know what you're getting, and you're on that wavelength that you're like, I'm good with this. This is what I want. I want to watch Sub-Zero and Liu Kang, you know, fight on the big, like, you know, you know what I mean. If you're okay with that and can give yourself over to this movie and not be looking for a really compelling story, you're probably going to have a good time. And many of my friends did. It's not a movie for me. And I think that's uh, that's the bottom line. It's not a movie for me. I didn't care for it. I know a lot of people who did. Am I going to call this a bad movie? No. It's a you-get-what-you-expect movie. Probably. Obviously, I was hoping it would be a little better. So maybe I did not get what I expected. But I think it's, it's, it's not something I could, I could ever call terrible. But it's not for me. I will never be watching this again. If a sequel comes out, will I watch it? Probably not. Another thing is, we're so short on movies right now. Movies coming out to the big screen. That You know, I love going to the movies. I, I want to go to the movies. And I do a channel that uh, heavily 
relies on movie reviews. Obviously, I don't just do movie reviews, but a big part of this channel has always been movie reviews. And there really haven't been that many movies to go out and see. So, yeah, um, I was going to go see Mortal Kombat. It was a movie. It was coming out. It was a big movie coming out. And I was going to go see it. But by the time they make a Mortal Kombat 2, if this gets a sequel, hopefully we'll be out of this pandemic. Hopefully there'll be so many movies out that I don't... Um, it's not the only game in town, you know? Because I always say, talk about what you love. You know, discuss what you love. You know, Rose Tico, you know, we're going to win by, you know, what was it? We're going to, I don't know the exact quote, Rose Tico, Last Jedi. We're going to win by saving what we love, not destroying what we hate. I probably don't have the quote exactly right, but but you know what I mean. So I, I like to talk about things that I love. And I, if I'm not a huge fan of like a movie like Mortal Kombat, then I guess I'm not really technically talking about what I love. Uh, so... Yeah, I probably wouldn't go see the sequel because I'm not going to go see it just so I can come on here and tell you guys, hey, guess what? I saw it. It was crap. Uh, I would rather just leave those reviews to the people who are enthusiastic about seeing a Mortal Kombat sequel. And I would rather see something that I am enthusiastic about. But right now, with my options limited, I'm going to go see things like Mortal Kombat. Um, I probably would have seen it anyway. I mean, it's been over 20 years. It's a brand new movie. I mean, it was a good looking trailer. Uh, so yeah, I probably would have checked it out, but I, I don't know that I would check out a Mortal Kombat 2 if they make one. Thanks for watching. What did you think of Mortal Kombat? I think I am of the opinion that my opinion is going to be a minority opinion. I think more people are going to have fun with this. Uh, because I know a lot of people who had fun with the 95 original, and I was sort of an outlier amongst my friends. I was the only one of my friends in 95 who didn't care for that original. So I kind of expect that I'm going to probably be the outlier on this one again. But what did you think? Did you like Mortal Kombat? Uh, let me know down below. And we'll be back. And we'll have more videos uh, in the coming months as more and more video, as more and more movies open. We'll have more and more movies to talk about. And hey, just remember, we do a Crazy After Dark live stream every Tuesday, Tuesday night, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Come on over, join us in the live chat. Uh, for Crazy After Dark every Tuesday. A new podcast of the Mega Podtastic podcast drops uh, wherever your local podcatcher every Friday. So please check that out and give the video a like, give it a subscribe. We would love to have you join the Mega Podtastic family if you're not already. All right, guys, keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone to be. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas And now we're having fun Keep wearing those pajamas And now the song is done